For this data science bite, I'd like to demonstrate what is machine learning or supervised machine learning. I'm going to use a few props, such as these mahjong tiles. Now, the idea is each of these tiles illustrates the entire concept of supervised machine learning. On one side, we have what we know about the tile, the pattern, the digits, um, and what it is. On the other side, we have the supervision, or what we wish we know is whether there's a blue star on the back of the tile or not, the blue star being the tile that pays off. For training data, we've collected tiles where we know both the front and the back, so we know which tiles don't pay off and which tiles do pay off. A typical supervised task is predicting if somebody will click on a presented advertisement or not. We generate the supervision data by recording data and looking later what happened. When we go to apply the model, we know only the facts about the user, and we try to predict whether they'll click or not. Now, as with all machine learning statistics, the space of all possible tiles, including those in the future, is called a population. Populations are considered unobservable, especially since they evolve events from the future. So we intend to build a model that works good in the future by evaluating its performance on observable samples. Obviously, samples only come from the past, so there is always some possibility the sample will not be representative of the future, no matter how well we test. So here we've drawn a visible sample from our population, and we have all the observable facts about the tiles. Again, during training, we know both the explanatory variables, the front of the tile, and the dependent variable, or whether we're trying to predict, the back of the tile. If we always knew both, we wouldn't need a model. So let's take a look at our training data. We're going to sort it into positive cases where people have clicked and negative cases where they have not, represented by the presence or absence of a blue star on the back. From this sorting, we attempt to learn the rules or generalization of what causes a blue star, or more accurately, what is correlated with a blue star. We do not actually worry about causality in machine learning. So, so far we have found three conversions, and we can see some facts about them. A number of them are character tiles um, versus shape or season tiles, and also they seem to have digits in a certain range, possibly. From this, we would then run our machine learning software, which would attempt to build an inference rule that in the future predicts accurately which are the money-making tiles and which are not. The odd thing in applications is money-making doesn't have to be accurate in the strict English sense. Knowing that a tile has an elevated chance of being a conversion can be very valuable even if it doesn't turn out to be always right. We can then use such a model in the future on additional draws or additional visible samples from the population to try to draw our bias towards tiles that have a higher chance of having a blue star in the back given facts visible on the front, i.e. this would let us serve ads to those more likely to appreciate them. And this ability to reuse generalization facts learned from the training data is what makes machine learning models valuable in practice. Some of our clients have actually used them instead of for prediction, just for revenue estimation to make certain numbers about decisions they've already committed to available early. And that, thank you very much for your time. That's the nature of machine learning, which is basically mapping observable explanatory variables to unobservable outcome or dependent variables.